Let's begin learning about lights by placing a daylight system in an exterior scene in 3ds Max. Go to the Application button and open a file from the Chapter 5 Datasets directory within our default Scenes directory. Remember, we set our project to the Understanding 3D Project directory. This sets our default location to the Scenes directory within that project folder. Open the file Chapter 5 Exterior Daylight 01.max. When you open this file, you'll see our exterior scene with our landscape and our buildings with a few additional enhancements. We have a camera, we have some trees, and several extra materials. We're going to place a daylight system in this scene. Before we move on, let's save the file incrementally. Click on the Application button, Save As, and in the Save As File dialog, click the Increment button. This will save the file as Chapter 5 Exterior Daylight 02.max. If you are asked to overwrite an existing file, go ahead and overwrite that file. Right click to activate the top viewport. Now we're going to create a daylight system. Remember that a daylight system is made up of multiple components a direct light, a skylight, and various other 3ds Max components. We access the daylight system by going to the Create panel. We're not going to click on the lights. We're going to select the Systems category of objects. Because there are several components that make up this daylight system, it's classified under the Systems category option. Go ahead and click on the Systems button. You'll see in the Object Type rollout that we have a daylight system. Don't get that confused with the sunlight option. This system only contains sunlight and is originally designed to work with 3ds Max's default scan line renderer. Since we're working with Mental Ray and we have the ability to use much more advanced lighting systems, we're going to choose the daylight system. This will make better use of the features within the daylight system. Go ahead and click on daylight system. The first dialog that we get is prompting us to use photographic exposure control, and it's going to set the exposure value to 15. We want to do this. Remember, photographic exposure control allows us to adjust the amount of light coming in and expose properly for the physical value of the sunlight. Go ahead and click Yes. Now we're ready to create the actual compass that will allow us to position the daylight system in the scene. Make sure your top viewport is active. One thing that's important is the placement of the daylight system. You generally want the daylight system to be placed close to the area that you're going to be rendering. For example, in our scene, our town is very close to the middle of the landscape. We want to create our compass in the middle of the landscape. Click and drag in the top viewport. This creates the compass rows. The compass has all four north, south, east, and west compass points. It may take a little practice to get this correct, but the size of the compass doesn't really matter. In this case, drag it so that it's slightly larger than our landscape. Then release the left mouse button. We're not finished yet. We get another dialog asking us if we want to create a mental ray sky. The MR sky map is the physical sky that we discussed earlier. This map defines the color of the background according to physical color values of a cloudless sky. Unless you're using a custom background, which in this case we're not, click Yes to automatically assign the mental ray sky to our background. We're still not done. Notice our cursor is still changing the position of the sun as we move our cursor up and down. This is changing the height of the sun above the ground in our scene. The sun is made up of two lights, a direct light and a skylight. The only rule here is that the light fixture itself is above the tallest point in your scene. So we drag the mouse up a little bit to give some height, then left click again to accept and create the daylight system. Now we're done creating our daylight system in our scene. Make sure you press Ctrl S to save your file. And let's right click in the Camera 1 viewport and click the Render Production button in the main toolbar. This will render our scene. 
In the background, you see our physical sky. You see we have direct light and we have shadows. However, something doesn't look quite right with the scene. To correct this, we'll have to make some adjustments. We now have a daylight in our scene that's made up of direct light and skylight and a physical sky.